If one party leases land to another party for a mining operation, the lease often includes a reclamation clause obligating the lessee to restore the land as close to its original pre-lease state as possible. In Rock Island Improvement Company v. Helmerick and Payne Incorporated, the Tenth Circuit considered the proper measure of damages for a lessee's breach of a reclamation clause. Between 1968 and 1977, Helmerick and Payne leased two tracts of Oklahoma land from Rock Island Improvement Company to establish a coal strip mining operation. The lease included a reclamation clause under which Helmerick agreed to restore the surface of the land as close as possible to its original condition once the mining operation was either abandoned or completed. When the lease expired, Helmerick failed to restore the land, leaving each tract of land with a large mine pit. Rock Island sued Helmerick for breach of contract, claiming that it breached the lease's reclamation clause. Rock Island sought damages equal to the reclamation costs, which were estimated at $375,000. However, Helmerick asserted that the proper measure of damages should have been only the land's diminution in market value, which the parties agreed was around $7,000. The jury agreed with Rock Island and awarded it damages equivalent to the reclamation costs. Helmerick appealed to the Tenth Circuit, arguing in part that the trial court failed to apply Oklahoma's damages law properly.